Hey guys, pen production is going great. I'm trying to get these done before blade show. The mill keeps getting stuck on, or sorry, the lathe keeps getting stuck on this little error. It's weird. Uh, I gotta go reset, I gotta go back to edit, I gotta go up, 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 and then back to memory and hit it again. So, if that worked. Um, currently, right now, we're making the tip of the pen. Coming together really good, doing full production on those. Trying to get to about 40. And uh, as you can see, they're coming along great. Going really well. So we're gonna go over here and bug Sky. Hello. What you working on? I'm just putting like a little chamfer on the tip of the thread so that it threads in more easily. Sweet. And I'm also cleaning up the surround area because when the collar grabs it, it leaves a little mark. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Check this out, this is pretty awesome. Quite proud of this uh, trajectory, ready? <laughs> it is, it's so awesome. The way that the, uh, okay, we're good, right? We're good. The way that I've got it set up, it's got a really strong spring pressure to eject the part, so normally it's not nearly that much effort, but uh, I had to arc it, you know, I had to figure out the angle. So now that we've made the tips and we have enough of them and we're doing good, next up is the tube. Um, it's a relatively simple part. There's just basically threads on both sides, but it's got to be faced to the right length. I got to have a little chamfer on the outside. Threads got to be perfect. Everything's got to be perfect. So. And it's a weird part, it's, it's long. I'm nor normally making these tiny little things. So in a normal scenario, I would stick the part out of the collet completely so that I can do all my work, come in, grab it, pull out the next one completely and then part it off. But with such a long part, you don't really wanna do that. If it's sticking out of the collet that much and you're threading, it could deflect, it could bend, it could, and that's not good. So I might have to kind of cheat my normal way of doing it stick it out just a little bit, do my threading, grab it, pull it out, part it off. And to simplify things, I think we're gonna manually flip it over, have a work stop in here, uh, and then do the same threading and turning on that side. So not a fully automated procedure yet, but with the blade show crunch, I don't really care. I think this will be a faster way to do it for now. Um, so that, yeah. So we're doing the tubes right now. We just uh, cut the threads on the first one. So I got to check to see how our thread fit is. So I ordered uh, custom thread gauges so that we can actually have a go, no gauge, no good, a go, no go gauge, but they haven't come in yet. So we got to use, we, we did a three wire check on all of the um, three wire on all of these ones. So we know that all these are within spec and they're actually all super consistent. So if we use this, in the tubes, then we'll get a really good fit. Ooh, first try goes right in. A little too wiggly, but it does go in. Uh, we just gotta tighten up that thread so it's not so wiggly. You can see the wiggle there. I just want it tighter than that. But if you go too tight, then it gets gritty and you can't get it in. So this part right here is where I'm not super sure of myself. 
uh, the transfer is going to come in. It's going to pull it off, and we're going to go very gently and very slowly, step by step. Okay, that looks right. That looks right. That looks right. Everything looks right. This is basically how I do it every new time. That looks right. Okay, pull it out. Yeah. Okay, it's pulling out a lot, which is good. It's a long piece. This is going to come down to 0.625. It's going to stop. Yes. It's going to come in. Okay, now right here, if you notice, so the tube is extended quite a lot, you know, quite a long ways. And ideally, I would have the chucks way closer together to support this tube because while it's cut, it's while it's cutting, it's going to want to deflect, and we don't want that. But I think once I turn the coolant on, like it should be fine. It's not really going to be a problem long term, so just try it and find out. Not going to be able to see anything through the camera once the coolant comes on in three, two, one. All right, so everything's good. I'm just going to finish up this code. tube done on one side. Uh, I'm going to flip it over. As I was talking about here, this is going to be in the main spindle. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to manually put it in. And then it should be fairly repeatable with the dead stop in there. And then I'm going to come in and do the exact same operations uh, on this side. And then it should be good. Long term, eventually, we'll, we'll do all the work on the sub side, but that involves setting up tools over there that I frankly don't want to do right now. I think this will be quick and easy. Uh, let me measure the length of this to see how close I'm getting. Look at that. I'm supposed to be 10 thou big and I'm eight and a half thou. That's fine. I'm not gonna complain about that one and a half thou. This is a uh, rough stock to leave. So I gotta cut off, I gotta cut off eight and a half thou off of the unfinished side. Perfect, it's perfect. I love it. All right guys, check this out. I have made a new slider. Old slider, new slider. Look at that. Couple notable changes, I've actually a lot of changes. The top corner was just chamfered before and it always felt kind of rough, so I put a big fat radius on there, which I'm really happy about. It doesn't get so hurdy on the finger anymore. I uh, shortened the engagement distance, which I'm super duper happy about. You used to have to travel more, and now it's about perfect. And this pattern, look at that. The problem with this pattern is it's wrong. It is not what I expected it to be. Boy, does it look cool, and it's really close, but what's happening is the C axis is the rotational spindle axis, and when it goes from 359 to 1, it doesn't just move, it unwinds 100 or 359 degrees or whatever it is. Um, so it's actually, instead of just doing these angled lines like it's supposed to, it's doing an angle, but then it's unwinding slowly while traveling over. And it's, it does look really cool, but it's wrong. Another successful test. This one. This is what I wanted. The other one's cool, but it's a little messy. This one is clean. I wanted it exactly like a rasp candle, and I think I nailed it. So it looks knurled, but it's actually milled. It's machined uh, with a ball mill. On this episode of Saga Saturday, you just saw the Crunch Before Blade show. Uh, you saw making the tip of the knife, 
And by knife, I, I mean pen. You saw the long distance uh, parts catching in the lathe and how to you know, set all that up. And we did the tube, the threads, and we showed the new pattern on the, the slider on the pen. And next up, you'll see a Blade Show 2018 footage. It was a blast and you guys are gonna enjoy it a lot. Uh, have a great one.